got every single one of these traps fitted up. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You could see through it. Monster fish like a pocket. They're breeding colony in this pond. Oh, dude. There are some monster fish in it. I'm going to get all these in a bucket real quick. This might be the biggest one of the day. He's huge. We caught... Like, honestly, maybe 300 fish in today's video. Welcome back to Ross Class, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing this backyard pond I just found on maps. We literally are just pulling up. We have no idea what could be in this pond, but in today's video, I'm going to be setting the most trap I've ever used in a single video. But before we do that, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. So I'm going to be baiting these traps today with some Slim Jim. Usually I use cat food or some fish food, but today we're gonna switch it up just to see. I'm gonna be splitting them all into little chunks and then throwing them into six different fish traps. Now I bought some traps that could house some bigger fish just in the event we do actually trick some and it's going into the trap. And then we've got four of these traps with the super fine mesh to catch any of the smaller fish that could potentially be in the pond right behind us. So I'm gonna get them baited all up. We'll set them all. And then we're gonna start netting around into this in this pond and see if we could scoop up any fish with this net right here. It looks very, very promising in this pond. But look at this pond right here. So if we look, there's a ton of these plants right here. So we're going to be setting a couple traps in this area as well as the areas that don't have very many plants just to see if anything changes. So that out of the way, we're gonna get every single one of these traps baited, get them set. Basically guys, we got these Slim Jims right here. The taste's pretty good. I don't see why a fish wouldn't want to eat some of this. So we're just going to split off the rounds like that and just throw them in the trap, see what happens. It's spicy jerky, so maybe it'll do well. Tastes pretty good too, so. I'd definitely go on a fish trap if it had jerky in it. That's what I'm saying. Now we've got every single one of these traps fitted up, guys. So we're going to get them set in this pond. And hopefully by the end of the video, we've caught some fish in it. I really doubt we're not going to catch anything with six fish traps. So... Let's get it done, boys. Get her done. Raise hell, praise the hell. And we're pretty much just going to throw one almost in each corner of the pond. It's got this weird shape, but we've got enough traps to make it happen. This next trap we're going to throw over here. Damn. Just like that. I'm throwing each of these traps pretty shallow, guys, because I don't have any extra rope for them. And I don't want to go through the hassle like I did with the video where we caught all those iridescent sharks, where I'm out here cast netting for two hours on end trying for days to catch the traps back. So we're throwing them shallow in today's video. Hopefully it works, we'll see by the end of the video. So we're gonna take this next trap and throw it in. And really, the way I'm spacing these out, we're really just gonna be targeting like this little part of the pond right here. So we're gonna get another one on that corner, that corner, and then over there in the shallow parts of this pond and see what they do. Fourth out of the six traps, the rest of these, we're gonna touch down this area right here. I'll do this trap two or five. And then this is the six trap, but this area looks a little deeper. So I'm gonna anchor it down with this stick. This one's gonna be floating a little bit, but we'll anchor it down right here. Or at least try to. <laughs> okay. That should work. Please work. All right, yeah, we're good. All right, we're gonna pick up the net, start netting around and see if we can catch any fish. We use roughly half a stick of the jerky, more like two thirds of it for those traps. But I got my little fish net right here. We're gonna start ripping up these weeds and see what we can pull up. I got a keeper bucket on hand just in case we do catch something and we wanna bring it home because now we have a house, we have tanks, we have ponds. This first net, we're gonna come down right here. Oh, wait, oh, dude, look, oh, what are these? These are definitely some sort of cichlid. But look at this, guys. We caught these right now. I don't know. I think these might be some African cichlid. And there's some little bugs. Ew. But we're going to get these guys in the keeper bucket. This is the first catch of the day. So we're going to get these guys in the keeper bucket real quick. We got these guys right here with these little African cichlids. I don't know what species they are. If you do, comment them down below. But it's kind of weird that we just caught three in one net. That's never happened to me before. There might be a lot of these in here. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't find anything else lurking in these weeds, so we're just going to throw it back in here. And we're going to rip another net to see what we could pull up. Did you hear that? Let's see. Anything in this net? Nothing in that net, guys. We're just going to throw this back. We're just working on... Oh, dude. Look at the size on this one. Oh, my God. This one's huge. Look at that. Oh. Don't do that, buddy. Low key, I'm thinking about it now. If we're catching this many this early, I don't know if that keeper bucket's gonna be enough for all of them. But we'll get this guy in the keeper bucket with his little baby friends. I think this one could be a female. I'd expect a male to have a lot more color, but I, I don't honestly know. We'll get you in your bucket with your friends. There we go. There he goes. Cute little dude. Have fun, buddy. I'm looking right here, guys, and fish love structures. They love to hide under stuff. So I'm gonna come down here, try not to slip in. 
Bro, no! Damn it. It's cold outside, dude. I literally, okay, you know what? I might as well just walk in now. Whatever. I wasn't planning on getting wet, but uh, give me all of that. I need retribution now that my shoes are ruined. Car's gonna smell fantastic. Let's see what we got in this net. Ooh. Uh, oh, I see one of these little cichlids. Oh, I see two of them. Real quick, guys, we got two little of these baby. Look at the color on them. They're actually super nice. We got two more of these little cichlids right here. They're looking really good. Just so I don't lose them in the grass, I'm going to put them there. And we're going to start sorting through this net to see if we can find any more little fishies in this mess. Oh, dude, I found two. What is that? Dude, what is that? I just found two more of these little cichlids, but look right here. What in the world is this? Is this like an insect? Oh my God. You could see through it. Dude, look at that. Guys, if you could comment down below and let me know what fish you think this is. Dude, is this even a fish? Is this an eel? This looks like some like deep sea saltwater fish, but we're gonna get them in the keeper bucket soon. I just got them in the bucket. You know what? We're gonna get them in the bucket right now. I was gonna put them in the net while we continue inspecting, but we got five more exotic fish in that one net. So we're gonna throw them in here. I told you guys, fish love structure. Hopefully they all get along. A little skeptical about having that weird looking fish with that super big cichlid in the bucket. But I don't think they're going to attack each other for the time being. I'm going to keep checking this net to see. You know what? I actually am also going to keep these plants right here. This is moneywort and this is ratalas. These are nice plants. I got a lot of tanks back in the house. that We could start growing out some of these plants in as well. So we're going to take this back home with us. And I think that is it for this net. So I'm going to oh. return. What? My. What? 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 Look at that spider. Where'd the creepy crawly go? Oh my God. Yeah, that's a big boy. He's right there. Oh, big net. My shoes are literally ruined. Good thing, guys, all my shoes are from Walmart. I literally don't pay more than $15 for shoes, so it's cool. Oh, oh dude, another, oh, thank you, thank you. That's how fish show love, guys. We got a huge fish. Now, this one has a lot more color than that other big one we, oh, buddy. Stop, please, please stop that. But that is really, really cool to see. We got a huge one. Oh my God. We got another huge fish right here. So we're just gonna get him in the bucket. Chillax, brother. And hey, stop that. We'll check this net to see if we caught any more fish. Not looking like there's any more fish in this net. So we're gonna put everything back. But guys, it is, this pond might be stocked. We've only been catching African cichlids and other cool aquarium fish. We haven't even caught a single tilapia yet. Or a mosquito fish. So there might be a lot of these guys in here. Uh, everything's gross and dirty. We're right next to one of the fish traps. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit more sneaky right here. Oh, huge net right there. Hopefully there's no leeches or anything. Cause if so, I'm gonna have to have camera girl pick them off me in the shower or something. <laughs> Kidding. Anyways. All right, we got our net raw here. Shake it. Oh, oh my God. Look down here guys, dude, there's a little baby Paku. This pond is like the perfect pond for Paku too. If you guys look at it, get a good look at it. You can see all these super healthy plants. It's the perfect fuel for some monster fish like a Paku. These guys are like lawnmowers. These plants grow super, super fast like a weed. So I like the perfect mix and I'm so stoked. We just caught a Paku. This is the first one we've caught since we got the new house. And I'm going to be able to keep every single one of them for now on. So we didn't get this little Paku in our little keeper bucket, but low key guys, the keeper bucket's getting kind of full. Second bucket on hand to start up another keeper bucket because we've been absolutely crushing it today that I actually have standing right over there that we could probably use as another keeper bucket because we've been killing it at this pond we got a ton of these little baby pockets actually not a ton we got one so far but we got a ton of cichlids that we need a spot to put them so we're gonna get this guy in our little keeper bucket and keep netting around i think pretty soon we're gonna check some fish traps because we got six of them out all right little buddy have fun Ooh, pancakes let's go all right Ooh. another monster net right here guys we're gonna start sorting through it see if we can find any oh <laughs> Look who just popped up. We got a little striped loach. Again, I don't know what species of loach this is. This is not a clown loach or anything of that nature, but it's yet another beautiful little aquarium fish right here. So we're gonna get this guy in our keeper bucket really fast. Loaches tend to be a little bit more delicate and he's like break dancing on my hand, so I don't wanna lose him. So we're just gonna run him to the bucket real quick. He looks very good. Hopefully the other fish don't eat him. We'll just get him added into the keeper bucket right here. Oop, there he goes. So, so far, dude, we're actually killing it right now. I've never caught this many African cichlids and other fish so fast. Traps might go stupid. They might just go stupid. We're just gonna real quick sort through the rest of these plants right here to see if there's any other fish hiding in them. This stuff's pretty thick, but it's not so thick. It's not like horrible. Oh, 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 oh. 
Look at the top right here in the weed. We got another one of these weird looking little alien fish. Bro, what the hell? What the hell is that? Look at this. I still don't know what these are, guys. So if you do know, please comment down below. It's crazy. You can see like their entire spine. Oh, you can see their entire spine. Their whole spine, all their organs. Is that, dude, that's his brain. That is crazy. I've, that's actually so wild. So we definitely got a tank for them back at the house. Hopefully they do well. I don't know what a fish like this would eat, but I'll probably be able to figure out. We're gonna get him in the keeper bucket real quick, throw all that stuff back in the water and keep netting around because we're killing it right now. Like this is insane. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, he just jumped in. He's showing in the plants right now. The other one's looking really good and the rest of the fish we've caught so far are looking great as well. Ew, 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 ew. What is that? I don't know if you guys were able to see, but that stuff looked nasty. See what we got off that rock ledge? Ooh, I see another little cichlid. Oh, two little cichlids right here. Look at these little babies. They're literally just hiding. Oh, I actually need these guys. Those tiger shovel nose we have back at the house, I need to get some feeders for. So this guy is gonna actually be perfect. They'll definitely munch those. We see two cichlids right here. Oh, oh my God, I gotta stop fooling around. Two cichlids right here. Get them in the keeper bucket. Oh, there's another little paku. This. A beautiful, beautiful baby Paku right here. Let's see. Anything else in this nastiness? Look. Oh, he's so beautiful. We got a beautiful little Oscar right here. Such a nice little cichlid. We'll get him in the keeper bucket as well. I think that might be everything for this net. So we're just going to get these guys in the keeper bucket real quick. So they don't die. Because I want, I don't want any of these to die. But another awesome net right here, guys. So we're going to just run them over to the keeper bucket. This is so sick. They're actually destroying. Also, my hemorrhoid cream came in the mail today. We've got four more beautiful exotic fish to add to the keeper bucket right here. Get all these little dudes in there. Come on, boys. Everything seems to be doing really well. And I think it's about time to check up on some of these fish traps and see how they did. We got the first trap right here. I'm just going to walk into the water to grab it just because I'm already soaked. But... Got our first trap right here. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, look. Look at the amount of Ignore that. That did not happen. But I had the balance of a cat. You can't trip me. But look at this, guys. We got a ton of these little fish in here. This is the first trap of the six. So let's see. Oh, right off the top, I see a Paku. Beautiful, beautiful little Paku. We got one Paku so far. We'll get him in the bucket. Let's see here. Oh my God. These things are like tilapia. The amount of African cichlids we've been pulling out of this pond is insane. Another beautiful African cichlid right here. Ooh, another beautiful one. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go here and try to grab as many as I can. Another big cichlid right here. Huge cichlid. Awesome to see. Damn, dude. Oh, another little Paku. Look, he's so cute. Get him in the bucket. There are so many cichlids in here. I'm trying to speed this up as best I can, but there are literally just so many and they're all so cool. Oh, what else we got? Dude, you know what? Honestly, I'm going to grab my net and just dump them out in the net. Sort through this faster. This guys out. Look at this. Right on the green part of the trap. We got a beautiful, another one of these guys right here. Very weird little fish. We'll get him in the keeper bucket as well. And the rest of the trap, we're just going to dump out and see how many African cichlids we caught in this one trap. I think that's everybody, right? Nobody's stuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are 12 African cichlids in this trap, all sizes. There's definitely a monster breeding colony in this pond. Wow, dude, this is insane. We're gonna get them all in the keeper bucket. This is insane. This is literally crazy. I'll grab a little portable aerator. We'll have all the fish we caught in the bucket with the net in one bucket and all the trap fish in another bucket. We'll get these guys right there. And then I do have a cooler in the back just in case we need it. I always keep a cooler on me now that I got the truck. Shout out to all what you guys. He's looking for me. No, I'm playing. But first trap was kind of crazy, kind of crazy. Let's go on to that next trap, though. You see some fish in there already, so I'm just gonna jump in. Oh, dude, there are some monster fish in this. Oh, these must be the adults creating the other cichlids in this. Oh my, all right. I'm gonna try to dump them all in this net real quick. Dude, these things are huge. They're massive. I, I might need to just get them in a cooler immediately. Look at the size on this guy. Hey, this thing is humongous. Look at the blue on his face. Holy smokes, guys. Here, let's get them all out in this net really quick. Got some little guys in here as well, but man, oh my God. I know, I know it seems rough the way I'm handling these guys, but this is really the only way to go about it. I didn't bring as many buckets as I obviously needed because I have never found a spot like this before in my life. Look at the blues and look at the size on this fish right here, guys. These are the biggest African cichlids I have ever seen. And there's a ton, oh, there's a ton of these little babies in here as well. So we're gonna get them in some water really quick. Oh my God, okay. Well, I just ate crap trying to get this bucket with some water, but 
We're gonna get all these monsters. Oh my God. And these little fish in this bucket ASAP. I'm gonna get an aerator on them as soon as possible. And I might need to run and grab one of the coolers at this point, cause this is literally insane. Where did homie go? There's the little guy. No fish left behind. Nope. I'm gonna get a little portable aerator on this right now. Oh, wait, wait, I might actually have a portable. For a second I thought I didn't. <gasps> I got a portable aerator. Thank God. We caught so many fish. I was literally about to throw this plugged in aerator I had on it. <laughs> Actually, I might. I'll probably put both on here. We got this one right here. Actually, no, I won't. Damn, dude. This has been a crazy night. This really has been insane. Luckily, guys, I do have this little aerator on me in the truck. So we're going to get some air to these guys right now. And honestly, I might have to fill up a cooler and run everything back to a cooler as we as we go. Cause now both the buckets I brought are full. I did not anticipate this being a problem. I'm suffering from success right now. But we're gonna leave this right here and go check on that next trap. We've got our third fish trap right here, guys. We're just making a round. Oh, dude, I could see some big fish in here already. Here, come here. Look at this, guys. Look. In the trap, you could see some big fish. I generally, this is too many fish. I have a house, I have a pond now, but oh, oh my God, dude. What am I gonna do with all of these fish? They're huge. All right, I'm gonna pick out the biggest one. Or at least I'm gonna try to. Let's get them all out into this net. So at least I have a chance of seeing what we got here. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Someone, this guy is huge. He's massive. Oh my God, are you stuck, buddy? Please. Let me help you. There you go, buddy. Oh, oh my God. The amount of cichlids in this pond is literally insane. Some of them are getting stuck in the trap. So I'm just gonna delicately come here and free them. Oh, I see a mimbuna. Holy, guys, this is insane. Look at the size on these mimbuna right here. Oh my God, there's a third. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna get all these in a bucket real quick and we're gonna get the largest ones into a cooler. All right guys, so I just got some water in this cooler and we're gonna get these beautiful bigger fish in one of the coolers and then all the little guys in the other cooler. So right now we got some beautiful monster mabunas right here. Get them in the bucket and we're gonna get a lot of these super, super big ones in the bucket as well. This is literally <laughs> insane, dude. I've never had a fishing day like this before. We're crushing, oh my God. This might be the biggest one of the day. He's huge. But let's see what else we got in here. We got more. I don't actually know if these medium size are female or male. I'm just kind of throwing in all the really big guys in here right, right now. And oh, the color on this one is beautiful. Look, beautiful, beautiful. That one's definitely a male, but those are the biggest ones. The rest of these guys I'm gonna get in another bucket. I ran back to the house and grabbed some more. So we're gonna get the rest of these guys into a bucket real quick. And the biggest ones from that other bucket in here as well. But these guys, we'll get in another bucket. All right guys, so we got this bucket right here. I'm gonna dump all of these fish out and get the biggest ones. Actually, I'll probably be able to feel and find, oh my God, look at this guy. I'll be able to feel and find the biggest ones. I know this is a little crazy, but I don't know any other better way to do this. We got some buttes in here and I'm just looking to grab the absolute largest. We got some more large guys. I think that is it. The rest of these are medium, but these are monsters right here. These, <laughs> these ones are huge, full adult size. So we're gonna get all these guys in that white cooler. We're at the next trap, guys, but this bird is hunting our fish. I gotta get over to our cooler ASAP. Look, he just caught a cichlid. I don't know if he got it from our bucket or the water, but he's got it in his mouth. Oh, nah, bro. All right, we're gonna check this third trap or fourth trap real quick dude that is hopefully that bird if, he, if i see him grab one of my pakus i'm going to run over there and strangle him no cap all right we got this third trap ow oh it's so cold oh, oh my god dude how many of these are we gonna catch i've this is like literally an all-time best i've never had a day like this before i think the most i caught in a day before was 30 if one of you guys could comment down below the total amount of fish we caught like i don't know how you're gonna do it i don't even know how many we've caught at this point but it feels like just a never-ending stream of these cichlids i'm gonna get these all in a bucket real quick well all in the net real quick and it looks like <laughs> dude it looks like we caught maybe another 30 or so here come close look at this oh my god bro Dude, this is quite literally insane. We got some big males, some tiny little babies, some juveniles. They breed. This is like tilapia level of fish. We can get all these guys in the cooler as well. We got some adorable little baby. But damn, we got two more fish traps to check. And then we got to get back to the house and figure out what fish we're keeping and what to do with them. Look, he's got a fish in his mouth. 
So I got another cooler filled with some water guys. We're gonna pick up these last two traps and just run them right to the car, get everything sorted and in a cooler. We caught like honestly maybe 300 fish in today's video. Like it's been crazy. This is my craziest day of fishing all time. I, uh, I don't even know, but we got this one trap right down here. We're gonna run around and pick up the next trap and then just get everything in a cooler. Oh my God. Look, there's even more of these cichlids in here. Oh my God, bro. I'm gonna waste no time to pick up this next trap. Then I'm literally gonna run to the cooler and we'll get all these fish in the cooler and on some air. Holy smokes, bro. So recently I've been traveling with both coolers on me just in the event something like this happens. You guys always comment about preparation. Proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. And that's what we're doing in today's video. So I got this net right here which had trap number four in it. This trap right here, which is trap number five, and that trap is trap number six. So we're just gonna start dumping them in the cooler and getting them on air ASAP. And then we gotta sort through the other keeper buckets to get everything else out. We got all the biggest fish in the white cooler that we're gonna bring 1 million percent back to the house. But <laughs> this is that fourth trap, guys. Look <laughs> at all the fish. We're gonna get them in here as well. Uh, I'll move this trap out the way in a second. But for right now, we got this next trap right here. We're gonna dump out. Oh my God, dude. So that was trap number four. Oh, look, little piece of Slim Jim. <laughs> kidding, kidding, maybe, kidding. And then we got this last trap right here. Oh my God, dude. Quite literally insane. Oh my God, no. Hey buddy, please, please don't do that. All right guys, so in those three traps, this is how many cichlids we caught. Quite an insane haul right here. And now we got to sort through those last two keeper buckets and see what all we got in there. I'm going to try to separate all the smaller other exotic aquarium fish outside of the cichlids from these guys, just so I could keep track of everything. And I'm going to kick on the air right now so that everybody's chilling. All these guys, all the monsters are looking perfect. So this is the keeper bucket where we cut a lot of the fish that we did net out of the water. We got this beautiful, oh. Oh, it shot me right in the eye. But we got this beautiful cichlid right here. And then we got a lot of the tiny guys. Honestly, I don't mind keeping the small little guys in this keeper bucket because I also know we got the Oscar in there and a couple little Pacus. But in this bucket right here, this next bucket, oh my God. I'm probably gonna dump it out into this net right here just so I could sort, th sort through it really fast and just boom, 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 get them in some water. Oh my God. And also guys, if you're curious, what I have in the truck for transporting fish as far as aeration goes. I got one of these off the wish list. Shout out person that got that. I know the cards at the house. I can't remember your name off the top of the head. I'm sorry, but guys, make sure you check out the wish list. Link down below in the description. I got a lot of super cool stuff in there for the fish room and the ponds at the house. So with that out of the way, we're gonna get these guys dumped in here. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful male. Beautiful male. Oh, baby puppy, baby puppy. I'm gonna try to get Guys, I know this looks bad, I'm sorry. But this is literally the best way for me to do this. We got another beautiful male. We're gonna get him, get this in the water really quick. We're gonna get this beautiful male in this cooler. Oh, cause he's really pretty. I really like him. But let's look at this net. Anything in here that we wanna keep necessarily? No, it looks like a bunch of these cichlids. I don't know what species this is still, but we're just gonna dump all that in that cooler right there and Everything else we're gonna be keeping, but with all of that fishing done and out of the way, guys, whew, what a day. Bump, fish bump. Wow. We're gonna uh, get these all back to the house and see what we could keep. I might hit up a friend for an IVC tote simply because this is an absurd amount of fish. And I don't know how else I would be able to keep them with the resources I currently have. So we're gonna try to get an IVC tote, catch you guys back in the house. Yeah. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. And now we're back at the fish room, guys. And I think I've decided we're going to put all of those monster cichlids we caught in the 120 gallon. I think it'll be an interesting little dynamic between the big monster fish and the tiny little mabunus and stuff we have in here that we caught at the abandoned spillway. So I got these guys in a bucket real quick. Look at the size on them. But I think this will be a really cool little concept. Hopefully they all do well. We got a lot of these little, oh, not little. We got a lot of these big guys. So we're just gonna quickly throw them in here. They all show really nice color. I don't really wanna mess with them too much while they're here. We got a smaller little medium sized female. And I think I'll try to put a couple medium sized in here as well, just because I don't want the big ones to be too aggressive. Oh, this is one of my favorites that we caught. The big old Mabuna. We didn't catch any little guys, but we did catch that big one. So maybe, oh, this male is beautiful, but maybe 
the uh, these guys are just a little bit more aggressive than the Mabunas, but I don't think the Mabunas in this tank are big enough to where the, these guys will really try to mess with them. But we got some beautiful, beautiful males of these cichlids. And we also have these two chunky, beautiful little Mabunas we're gonna get right in here. And it's run on an FX6. I think they'll be fine. I do gotta get some bigger pellets and stuff to try to train these guys to eat because I don't know what they've been eating in that pond. But we'll try our best. Ooh, feisty little guy. We'll get him in there ASAP. We got a couple more fish. This guy is really cool looking. And in, in the morning, guys, I'll give you guys an update on how all these guys are doing. But this is the last fish we're putting in the 120 gallon. This is what the tank is looking like right now at night. You can see how dominant the big guys look. I'm really excited to see what they look like in the sunlight. And now we're going to get all those smaller fish we caught situated in the fish room and in some tanks. Now we're in the fish room, guys, with the rest of the smaller little aquarium fish we caught. I already got a lot of the baby cichlids that we caught in this tank right here. I think we've got about 30. I'm going to do a water change and fill it up all the way up to the top right after we record this part and also all the eastern happies we caught i ended up just throwing the 120 so the 120 has some eastern happy cichlids as well and all the mods and stuff i ended up just returning to where we caught them because they weren't doing too well in the tank so i didn't want to try to force them to do that we're just going to go back out and try to catch more and try again maybe in a pond or something down the line but right in this bucket guys we're going to put the oscar we caught this cutie little guy in with these guys because i think he'll be fine with them i think He'll do just fine with them. So we're going to throw him in there. He's around the same size. I don't know if they'll single him out. And then I'm trying to think of what to do with these Paku. Because I know Pakus are thin nippers. So I don't know if I want to put them in with my iridescent sharks. But I might just do it. Because they are both monster fish. They're not going to be aggressive towards each other. They're going to get along just fine. And I don't know how they fare with a bunch of cichlids. And of course, I see that Oscar is fighting for his life or anything crazy. Oh, that pocket just jumped. But I see that Oscar struggling at all with the other cichlids. And of course, I'll just end up throwing him into this tank with the other monster fish. And we're getting this next Paku in right here. They're so... F oh, wait, no, I didn't want... To I messed that up. I didn't want to put the Paku in there. Come back, friend. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. I don't have a net on hand. But luckily I'm better than the net. We got this little Paku. We'll get him in here with those guys. I think we got a couple more little Pakus. We got another one right here. Two more beautiful little baby Pakus. We'll put in the tank with the iridescent sharks because I feed this tank a lot. Pakus love to eat. So they'll get along just fine. This little fish right here now, I don't know exactly what I want to do with. We're gonna have, I actually, you know what? No, that's a horrible idea. I was thinking maybe we put them with the tiger shovel nose over there. We're going to be feeding them live tomorrow. Make sure you stick around to see that. Um, these guys, I think I'll end up finding a friend for them or, you know what? I got a great idea, guys. We're going to put these guys with the platies because they don't look like the most aggressive fish. I think the platies will be nice to them for the most part. Put both of these fish in the platy pond. So we're going to put these guys down in here with the platies. There you go, buddies. There they go, they swim off. And you can see some of the platies down here at the bottom. Look at them. Look, there's some at sitting at the bottom. It's nighttime, so they're sleeping. I see an orange one back there. Oh, and look at the glass catfish. Oh, they look good. They look very good. Oh, big platy. Another platy. <laughs> look, oh yeah. So we still got a ton of platies. And you know what, guys? I think we're going to set another fish trap at the abandoned fountain soon. Just to get more platies for the platy pond really got try to get like a nice colony going but now with that out of the way guys we're, we're gonna go to sleep in the morning i'll give you guys an update on everything we just caught and as well as a feeding of everything i keep currently so i'll see you then all right guys so it's the next day and we're back at the 120 gallon tank with all the new fish we added into it one of the big cichlids is acting a little strange he's doing like these twirly whirlies he just can't seem to self-regulate and the same story is going with that other one, guys. I'm not too sure why that is, but the rest of them are looking really good. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and just leave them in, and hopefully they get their act straight. But maybe they aren't used to the flow or something and just messing them up. Regardless, we got our little food right here for these big dudes. So we got our cichlid pellets right here, and it's going to be really interesting to see how these fish get along with time. The eastern happy cichlid, the big male we caught a couple videos ago, is showing insane colors down there. Like, he's super fired up now that there's some really big fish in here. And I do definitely need to clean this tank up now 
that we got some new fish in it. But I just dropped in some pouts for the little dudes. They're all eating really good. And I'm not too worried about having these little guys in with the super big fish because I feel like these fish are so small. The big guys aren't even going to bother trying to eat them. But also, guys, if you do want these big cichlids, I'm not opposed to selling them to some of you guys. Uh, obviously, the ones that aren't like doing the twirly whirlies. So the 120 gallon tank is looking great. We're gonna jump into the fish room and feed the rest of the fish. So this is the little tank with all the little dudes we caught out and kept. So we got this fiber bites right here. I don't know if they're immediately gonna come swarm into it or not. This is the first feeding since we have them in the tank. They all look pretty good. Oh, yep, there we go. We got one nibble right there. So I'm gonna drop in a good amount of food in here for them because there are like 30 of these little dudes in here. We're gonna let them do their thing. Oh, look at it, look at it. Look, they're all starting to become aware that there's food in the tank and they're all starting to come over. So I'm gonna drop it another pinch and we're just gonna let them feast. So these guys should adjust very, very well. And I also did just get the lids in for the tanks. Oh, the baby Oscar's eating. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, he just got spooked. I don't know what that was all about. I have a feeling the Oscar in this tank, since he's standalone, is just gonna become like a little menace. But down here, guys, we got all these little Paku and the little sharks. I'm gonna do a water change on everything today, including the 120 gallon. So we'll see if these guys eat off the bat. The Paku might eat stuff, because they're very good eat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at the Paku. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> and the cool thing is, when there's a fish in the tank that eats like the Paku does, it should inspire the rest of the fish to eat just like them as well. So the sharks should become a lot better eaters. They eat pretty good as is, but now with the Paku in the tank, they should become even better. So we're gonna throw in one last little thing of food. Look at the little albino. Everybody's coming in for food now. And we got a little loach in the back. I didn't show you guys I forgot, but we did put the loaches in here just because it's the safest place for them for the time being. But the sharks and the pakus are getting along great. And in the next video, guys, I'm gonna try to get the 300 gallon tank on the stand, lids in all of these tanks, and start getting some of these setups going. I'm gonna start working on getting these tiger shovel nose over here. I tried throwing them some pellets yesterday. They didn't eat them, so I'm gonna try to get them some live. They're both alive and doing well, but they do definitely need some live feeder before I could train them on the pellets, because they're not eating any pellets. They're not going for that at all. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you're interested in some of the fish in the 120 gallon tank, DM me on Instagram. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Deuces.